That's a long jawed orb weaver right there. Making himself at home just above the water. This is, these are my gold digs. Uh, so I do a lot of gold panning right here. You can see it's got a lot of gravels, a lot of sediment build up in here. Good gravels and a good riffle of the creek. Got one channel of the creek comes down here, another channel comes this way and they converge and I got good gravels here, good conversions in the ripple and so good drop zones for the gold. I do a lot of panning from the sediments under here. I've dug out a bit and over here a bit. This is good gold dust gravel, good pay dirt. So anyway, this is where I do a lot of my panning for gold. Again, good riffle, good drop zones, good sediments. This is gold country. It's it's downstream from a quartz vein that runs up the mountain. And that quartz vein is full of uh, iron sulfides, iron oxide, you know, iron pyrite, all the makings of good gold ore. And so I'm just, just downstream from that. So I've been having good luck here with gold dust. Uh, but I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about uh, the rain shadow effect uh, on the eastern slope or the eastern side of the valley we got a good rain shadow effect and I'll get into more of that earlier or later over here in the in the Big Belt Mountains here we don't have a lot of all that rain shadow effect we get good rainfall up in here it's real moist in this area and so we get you know orb weavers and such but not much latrodectus almost none in this area and, uh, and I'll explain why and it's, it has to do with that rain shadow effect and we will go to uh, we'll go to our Latrodectus habitat, and then I'll explain that further. Wow! Can you believe this? Look at this. If I can get it out of the ground, there it's kind of it's been there a while. Wow! Old skull of a white-tailed buck, all rotted. These are sizable antlers. Okay, good morning again here on the east side, back at our Latrodectus habitat here on the east side of the valley. Got a nice big web here, let's take a look. Look at all that webbing, lattice work and anchor strands. Obviously a very inf invested adult female. Very nice to see that. Now, what is that rain shadow effect? Well, that's what I've been talking about. This is dry over here. It's a lot drier. We have more rocky terrain and more gravel, okay? It's drier and that is because the rain hits the Elkhorn Mountains from the west side. It hangs up on top and on the west slope, but then it passes over the east slope a bit here. Okay, it doesn't drop as much, and then it picks up again over in the big belts where we were yesterday, okay? So this area just does not get the same amount of rainfall. It gets rainfall, just not the same amount, all right? That's called a rain shadow effect. It hits the mountains, kind of passes over, and then picks up again in the valley, and then again on the, on the east side, okay? That's called the rain shadow effect. It affects these spiders because... It's probably why they chose this area. It's drier. They don't have to deal with the rain and the wind and the weather. Okay. And notice all the spiders are on this side of this little gorge here. The majority are on this side and that's for the same reason. Less wind, less rain, all of them elements, less to fight. That's some of their adaptive plasticity. Okay. So it's almost like these spiders are their own phenotype as opposed to the spiders out on the valley where the, the Latrodectus hesperus burrow in holes in the ground and under leaf litter. So behavioral adaptation or behavioral plasticity to do with this environment. Nice big chunk of quartz here. Notice the oxidation on there, iron oxide. So there was a vein of quartz up in here. Now look at the oxidation on that quartz. So that's iron oxide. Now this is the makings of gold ore. This is what you want to look for when you're hunting for gold. You want to find a quartz vein. And you want to find that oxi oxidation. There's glitter on some of these rocks. The camera won't pick that up. There's glitter. That's probably iron pyrite. So all of that is the makings of gold ore. 